This one's called Torrent Search. Uh, basically, that's what it is. Kind of like LimeWire meets BitTorrent. And let me open it here. So, uh, this is the interface. And what you probably want to do is, um, well, it depends on your situation, but go to Preference. Uh, by default, they have it, uh, you know, save in folder. And this will just download the torrent files and saves it in a folder. That will probably be good if you have a watch folder uh, set up for, you know, your default torrent client. Otherwise, I'd probably say the second one is for everyone else. Um, you know, choose your, your default torrent client, which you should have transmission. Or if you want to use some other ones that you install, just select it from the list, you know, and that's it. Uh, if you want to do like some custom commands, um, I guess you can just type it out here. And let's go on to plugins here. So the plugins are basically, uh, you know, uh, existing torrent sites like Pirate Bay, uh, Torrent Zap, you know, all that. So uh, for people to ask me, so can you download illegal shits on here? Uh, and I'm going to do Obama style. And yes, we can. We can download illegal shits here. So that's up to you if you want to do that. But let me give you an example. So I search for my hero, AXXO. You can see that you can still have his list here. Okay. Uh, it's still here if you want to do that, but for this one I'm going to do legit and go Linux. So that means you can actually download movies, uh, you know, uh, music, whatever you can think of. But uh, for this one I'm going to go legit like I said and use uh, Linux distribution. They do have some filtering option here, so you can want to check that out, you can do that. You know, set the maximum or minimum uh, size. Uh, when you're searching though, um, it's going to keep going. You see how it keeps going right here? So what you want to do is after you search, you hit stop and, and that will stop right there. Uh, if you never used BitTorrent before, let me give you a few guidelines. Okay, These numbers here, uh, the seeders and the leechers, um, the seeders means is the person or how many people actually have the completed file. Like 100% of it is done. They have it in their hard drive. And the see and the leechers are the people are leeching from them. Basically, they're still downloading it, okay. And once they're completed, they become seeders. Uh, so your goal is actually just to uh, get the highest number. So that means you'll download faster. It doesn't matter, you know, the, uh, which side it is. But generally, the the if you have more seeders, it'll go faster. If you have more leechers, um, depends if they're sharing a lot. It will actually go faster too. So that's how BitTorrent works. So you just want to get to the highest number. It doesn't matter which side is on either leechers or the seeders. Doesn't really matter. You just want the highest number, okay? And that's also a good thing if um, you know you, you determine if the file is fake or not. Because in LimeWire, there's really no way to determine that shit. You know, it's either fake or it's viruses or it's you know it's crapware or something like that. But BitTorrent is kind of like a little bit better. On um, you know, like 90% of the time, it's uh, accurate. Uh, that you'll get the file that you're looking for. So let's let's try this out, okay? Uh, so we have some files here that we want to download. Let's say I say uh, Linux Mint 9 here, okay? And all you gotta do is double click on it, and it'll say downloading here, and then it adds it to our, uh, you know, BitTorrent client, which is uh, transmission here. So it adds it, and look at that. And it's downloading, and you can do that for anything in here in your list, okay? So that's basically how that works, and uh, I really like it. So check it out. You know, uh, if you want to do a, a desktop client instead of going to the web pages all the time, it's pretty fast too. So I like it there. All right, that's it for this one.